Hello everyone! Hello! How's everybody doing today? <laughs> oh, that's marvellous! Mrs Claus here, coming to you all the way from the North Pole. <laughs> oh, I'm just so excited. Are you? We're getting close to Christmas. Oh, and I thought I'd take a little bit of time out to come and visit with you and share a story with you. One of the elves' favourite stories, which is called The Night Before Christmas. Yes! Oh, we read this on Christmas Eve when Santa has got on his sleigh and he's heading out to deliver all of those wonderful presents to all of you. The elves and I settle down and we read this story. Yeah, over a nice cup of hot cocoa and marshmallows, of course. So I thought I'd share it with you and we'll spread a little Christmas cheer. How does that sound? All right? All right, here we go. The night before Christmas. Twas the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama, in her kerchief, and I, in my cap, had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new-fallen snow gave the luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and a tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be Saint Nick. More rapid than eagles his courses they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now, Dasher, now, Dancer, now, Prancer and Vixen, on, Comet, on, Cupid, on, Donder, on, Blitzer, to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now, dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop the courses they flew, with a sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled. His dimples, how merry. His cheek were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow and the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of his pipe he held tight in his teeth and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. Ho, 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 <laughs> my favourite sound. <laughs> he was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. 
a wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk and laying a finger aside of his nose and giving a nod, up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim ere he drove out of sight. Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. And that's what it says at the end of the story. There you go, the night before Christmas. I hope you enjoyed that everyone. Oh, I enjoyed reading it. Well, I do hope that you have a very safe and a very happy Christmas. I know it's been a strange kind of year, but we at the North Pole have been working very hard to try and make it as special for you as we can. I love you all and wish you all the very best. Bye for now, boys and girls. Bye.